Hello and welcome to another reading vlog I guess. I don't know, I don't know whether people are enjoying these or not because my last one got a dislike which is always nice and possibly fewer likes than normal but more views. Today is Monday so I'm currently at work. I'm actually doing some work for uh, Emmanuel Fombu. Oh, here we go, we'll come over here. Uh, so this is a client who I've been helping him with his book, The Future of Healthcare, Humans and Machines Partnering for Better Outcomes. So this actually recently came out just a couple of, couple of weeks ago. So um, I'm just helping him more at the moment with the marketing side of things. So we're getting his Goodreads author page set up and his Amazon author central and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, doing a bit of social media marketing and that kind of thing, including this, I guess. But, um, so that's my main focus today, really. I've also got to write an article later for another client, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a relatively, uh, slow day today because over the last couple of weeks I've been doing a lot of overtime, so I've managed to free myself up. So that is good. I finished reading, uh, Interview with the Vampire. I don't want to say too much about it here because I think I'm going to do a review of it. But, um, I did enjoy it. I gave it, like, uh... Probably a 3.75 out of 5 again, the same as I gave uh, Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. And the reason for that is, I don't know, I, I enjoyed, I really enjoyed uh, Rice's take on all the vampire lore. I also thought the way that it kind of worked as an interview actually worked really well. There were just, there was just something about it that d it didn't totally absorb me or anything like that. I did think Lestat was a great character. But, uh, I mean, I have no desire to read any more in the series or anything like that. I've, I'm glad that I've now read this. But I don't think I'll read any more unless maybe I happen to see one in a charity shop or something like that. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm. it probably doesn't help that I'm not super keen on vampires. I did like, really like Dracula. It's one of my favourite classics. And so, and I read some more of Stoker's stuff. The Lair of the White Worm was a great book as well. But, um... So I liked how this kind of built upon the Bram Stoker kind of take on vampiricism, I suppose. But I just, I'm not particularly keen on vampires. I, uh, <laughs> that's that's just the truth of it, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it was fine. I, I enjoyed it and I'm glad that I read it. I've now made a start on Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill. And my goodness, this is creepy. So... <laughs> It's a lot better than I was expecting it to be, and I expected it to be pretty good, but, um, I mean, it's not a 5 out of 5, because there are bits in it that I don't like, or that I think have been handled clumsily. He says here, it was the evening news. Bill Boutel, who had started his journalism career when the assassination of Archduke F Ferdinand was the breaking story of the day, sat stiffly behind the news desk. And I'm there being like, surely that... That's because that the assassination of uh, Franz Ferdinand kickstarted World War One, so that really then confused me because I'm like, well, if if that guy if started his journalism career with that, then he must be like at least a hundred years old. And I looked it up, and the guy he was referring to wasn't even born until 20 years after the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, and was dead by the time this book came out. So I'm not really sure what that was all about. That bit confused me. I, I guess maybe it was like a bit of sarcasm or something, but it doesn't necessarily work if you don't know the person he's talking about, you know. So I had to Google that, and then I was like, that's just factually incorrect, mate. But other than that, the majority of this story has been really good. It's about basically this aging rock star buys a ghost on eBay, and this ghost is sinister. It has like, instead of eyes, it has like cross, like scribbles over where the eyes would be, and that creeps me out to no end. So I'm enjoying this one. And then after this I have uh, American Psycho as well. But I've rambled on enough. I don't want these things to be too long, these videos, but obviously I'm talking about a fair amount of books and you've got bits of my life and whatnot as well. So um, so yeah, I'm off to um, continue working, I suppose, and to read a bit of, to read a bit of Heart Shaped Box. Um, also, like his involvement with the Jedi Council and watching Madman Reads and Rocks yeah, talk about Star Wars graphic really novels. Cool. I'll link to this video. Note to yeah, editing Dane. Like, uh, and I made fine. this as well. This is just um, some muesli. We actually made the muesli ourselves using uh, I mean, using I oats and much. dried fruit. Um, and then I added some pecans to it, a few chia seeds, and some oat milk. It looks pretty good. And it took two minutes, so I have no excuse. Or at least, somewhat. So Katie from Kit Kats Can Read shared this on Facebook. 
And basically our conservative government here in the UK have voted that animals can't feel pain. Oh, that's nice. It's almost as though pigs don't have the intelligence of a three-year-old child, isn't it? Uh, yeah, smarter than dogs, but no, they can't feel pain. Biggie, what are you doing? I don't understand. It's a carrier bag. Mmm. Hello. Uh, I'm not in the best mood today, to be honest, but it's fine. We will continue. We will continue on regardless. I have been reading Heart Shaped Box. I'm about 70 pages from the end. I only started it like two days ago. It's been really good. I've really enjoyed it. There have been bits where it's dragged a little bit and I don't know. It's lost a bit of steam near the end, I think. However, just purely for the fact that it's freaked me out so much. I did have weird dreams last night. I can't remember exactly what they were about. They weren't about the book, I don't think, but I still had weird dreams, which I think is partly Joe Hill's fault. It's very sinister. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would recommend reading this if you like horror or like supernatural horror, especially, I guess. But, um, you know, really well written and I'm intrigued. I want to read some more of Joe Hill's stuff because this is my first book of his. And uh, so yesterday I went into Goodreads and marked all of his books as want to read. So, yeah, the plan is finish reading this possibly today and then make a start on American Psycho. This evening, Becca was talking about making a vegan roast dinner, which may or may not happen. I'll try and remember to take some footage if it does. Because I said I was going to include, um, like, f footage of some of the food that I make in these vlogs, and then never did. But, um, well, I did. I just keep forgetting. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm using a different camera today. This is my Legria Mini. So, uh, hang on, I'll show you. Where's my main camera gone? I don't even know where my main camera's gone. But, um, yeah, as you can see, this uses more of like a fisheye lens. It also, theoretically, is meant to have pretty good audio. So there's that. I mean, I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, you can see... I think it's like 180 degrees or something. So, like, you can see most of my house. Let me know what you think of this camera in terms of the quality of the camera and the audio from it because I might use this more often for the weekly vlog. I might use this as my weekly vlog camera and then just use my other camera for uh, general stuff. So, today's update. Uh, yesterday, Becca did make me a delicious Sunday roast. In fact, um, I, I forgot to film any of it but I do have some leftovers. Where are my leftovers? I've got this in here. This is our apple pie. I made apple pie. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Vegan apple pie. Lovely. So yeah, I finished reading Joe Hill, Heart Shaped Box. I had a problem where the first half of it was so good that the second half of it struggled. So I can only really give it a 4.5 out of 5. It's not quite a 5 out of 5, but it was a very good book. I really enjoyed Hill's writing style. Just sinister as well. I kept having like weird dreams while I was reading it. And overall, like if you're looking for a book that's going to kind of freak you out a little bit, this is a good one to go for. So, uh, and I'll probably do a full review of that soon as well. So that brings us on to American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. I actually bought this copy when I was in Oxford. I'll link below to my Oxford travel vid where I went there with Becca. But um, yeah, we got this. I got this as well. I also got The Handmaid's Tale at the same time, which is my book of the year so far. And uh, yeah, it was two for five pound for like brand new books, so I bought a bunch of them. This is okay. I mean, I feel like nothing much is really happening at the moment. And it just, so far, it just reminds me of like The Wolf of Wall Street or something. So, and because it's obviously, it is about Patrick Bateman who works on Wall Street. He's handsome, sophisticated, charming, and intelligent. He's also a psychopath. To be honest, to be successful in, in Wall Street, you did need to be, maybe not a psychopath, but you needed to be a sociopath at the very least. I'm yet to see him do anything psychopathish yet. To be honest, it just reminds me of working in an ad agency in 2016 or whatever. So, I don't know. I've heard, like, it's a really disturbing novel and stuff, and so far I'm kind of bored, but I'm only, like, 10% of the way in, so I'm assuming it's going to 
stuff is going to happen and it's going to get more interesting because otherwise, if it continues being like this, it's just a story about a bunch of entitled people just going around being entitled. I, I, I don't know. But um, yeah, I will finish it off soon. And then after this, I'm going to read Othello and I'm stoked about it. So yes. And also this weekend, I'm probably going to finish this vlog on the uh, Thursday because on Friday and then over the weekend, I'm going to be visiting my mum in Tamworth. So that should be good. But while I'm away, I might also take like a super long book with me as well. To It's part of my thing now is when I go on holiday or go away somewhere, I take a really long book with me. So yeah, on that note, I'm going to get back to work. I am writing, I'm just updating a report here for a client. Uh, the state of user-generated content in sports marketing. So it's about a 2,000-word report. I actually did the first draft of this report, but they came back and they wanted to restructure the way the case studies were done, and they also wanted to swap out like two of the case studies. So I basically just took the report and done half of it again from scratch. But it's fine, you know. It, ultimately, you want the work to be the best it is, even if it's not necessarily profitable for me to keep working on it by this point. But hey-ho! And uh, yeah, and I'm watching Jenna from Bibliophil. She's doing the Avatar The Last Airbender book tag. Good show. Yeah, Biggie, what are you doing? Be so what are you doing? On this side of the room. I, I finished reading that book. Most of the books Why are you sitting next to that book? I'm there you go, is that better? Alright, hi guys, Dane and Biggie. Oh, let me just check I'm in focus. Alright, hi guys, Dane and Biggie here. Biggie, say hello. You gonna say hello? No, he isn't. Oh, he's saying hello. Hello, internet. Is that nice, Biggie? Yeah. Are you enjoying this documentary about whatever it's about? Doesn't even say. Something about rocks and minerals. Bip, 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 bip. Oh. You look like Jabba the Hutt. He's a Wookiee. Yeah, he's going now. Biggie. Oh yeah, you stay with me. So I'm making Thai green curry. I attempted to make my own curry paste. We'll see how that goes. With, uh, this is like onion and, uh, what was it? Onion and ginger and a bit of garlic to go in this, which is the rice, just bubbling. And my favorite thing is this, look. Well, the camera got super steamy, but it's Peshwari naan anyway, homemade Peshwari naan. So yeah, this looks good. I'm, it's almost serving time now. Hello. Um, my hair's a bit wet because I've just come out of the shower. But um, I'm going to the radio station. So basically once a month I appear on a show here on Wickham Sound, our local community radio station. And the show is called Planet Claire. And basically I talk about books on it. Why am I going in and out of focus? This doesn't let me try sitting back against this. So, God damn it. This is like the third time I've been on this thing now. I will link below to where you can listen to what I'm going along to do tonight. But I'm also gonna take the camera and maybe get a few behind the scenes bits as well. I'm very full, I just spent like two hours cooking, but it was good, so there's that. I've been reading American Psycho, still enjoying it. I'm on page 161 at the moment. So, um, coming up to about halfway through, I guess. 
it's the psycho bit has suddenly kicked in so that's good it's kind of a bit more interesting now he's he's still not like patrick bateman still isn't necessarily the easiest character to read about but i i am enjoying it it reminds me of irvin welsh as well so there is that and uh yeah what was it oh tomorrow i'm going to tamworth to stay with my mom so i'm gonna end this weekly vlog or whatever before then and do a separate one for while i'm in tamworth so that should be good and uh oh yeah and also while i'm on like the train i tend to read while i'm on public transport so i'm hoping to get a big chunk of this read tomorrow possibly even finish it on the train so yeah on that note to the radio station <laughs> Meanwhile, the police chiefs apologised after it was revealed officers securing the presence. You comfy down there. Oh, sorry. All right, it is. Uh, I got my music on. I'm gonna stand over here. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so it is Friday, and I guess I'm gonna call an end to this reading vlog here because I'm literally about to go and travel to Tamworth to see my mum. So uh, yeah, I will say goodbye for now, and we'll take up with the next vlog from here. So on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.